Looky, looky who we have here. You know that face? Look at that smiling face. He doesn't usually get to smile on ABC, though. He's smiling here. Our ABC News chief Washington correspondent, best-selling author behind the brand-new book, Betrayal, the final act of the Trump show, offering an inside look at the former president's last few months in office. That's right. Jonathan Carl, who needs no introduction, is here with us now. So, John, we appreciate you coming. Nice to have you in the studio. It's not your first time on the program, but it's nice to see you in the I don't get to come on here enough, though. Can you guys have me on more? Write some more books. No, you can come on. We always love your insights, and this book is yeah. full of them. Yeah. Um, one that stands out, you <laughs> talk about a meeting you had, or at least a conversation you had, with former President Trump about the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is incredible. This has not gotten as much attention, uh, but it's one of the most surreal moments that I had at the White House, which says a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, I was president of the White House Correspondents' Association, preparing for the White House Correspondents' Dinner, you know, just as COVID was about to hit us. And we had a great lineup. Kenan Thompson of SNL was going to perform. Hassan Minhaj was going to do a, a presentation. It was great. But I had not invited Donald Trump yet. And I got a call. I got an email, actually, from, from his press secretary saying, come to the Oval Office such such a time. It was right after Super Tuesday in March, beginning of March. The president wants to talk to you about the White House Correspondents' Dinner. And he had decided, effectively, that he wanted to come. But I hadn't invited him yet. Because I, I wasn't sure, you know, he'd skipped the first three. Did we really yeah. want him? It was like a, um, but he was clearly, he, he wanted to, he, he thought that I was going to beg him to come because it would be such a big thing. And now he was suddenly considering that he might actually come. He saw Keenan Thompson. He, and um, I'm not getting excited about it. And I just tell him, if you want to come, you can come. I mean, every president's come since Harding. Uh, but if you don't want to come, we'll respect your decision. And I didn't get excited. So he turns to my colleague in the Correspondents Association and he says, Jonathan, he's like my son, Baron. Do you love your father? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but of course he loves his father. And it's like he was comparing me to his son, wow. Baron, not wanting to publicly, you know, not wanting to express his love for his father. It was. Bizarre. And, and then, of course, a week later, the whole world shuts down. The correspondence dinner gets canceled. Anyway, and uh, it was all moot. And, and we, never, we never got a final well, answer. When was the last time <laughs> you talked to the president? Uh, I talked to President him. In, Trump. I President talked Trump. to him right before the book went to press. I wanted to go. I, I you know, I, look, I've, I've tried. I've tried to treat him fairly yeah. as long as I've covered him, and I've known him for a long time. Um, and I and I had a series of things I wanted to ask him about. You know, that were in the book. Give him a chance to have his side. Uh, so it was a phone conversation in late July, um, and he was a little bit crankier than the uh, earlier meeting I had had. He was, you know, he was. But uh, it ended with him hanging up on me. Wow. Wow. I was asking him about Mitch McConnell, trying to ask him about Mitch McConnell disinviting him to the inauguration. And before I could get the question out, he's like, Dialed okay. Down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, you had a, a, a book launch event last night, and everybody was so curious to ask you this question because yeah. you've covered uh, Trump for so long. Is he going to run again? Yeah. And you, your answer was fascinating. You, you, you gave a good reason for why he would and a yeah. good reason for why he wouldn't. Tell yeah. Me. So I think he is not going to run, but I think <laughs> I don't say that with a great deal of confidence. The reason why I don't think he will run is I don't think he wants to face losing again. And somewhere deep and down, he knows that he lost. Uh, and, but the second thing about why I may be wrong about that is right now he is the center of attention among Republicans as, you know, is he going to run again? And if he runs, he'll run away with it. He's, you know, have his comeback. The minute, how does he say he's not going to run? Because the minute he says that, it goes away. It goes to maybe DeSantis or I don't know who else. It goes to, it goes to you know, whoever whoever's going to be the Republican nominee. The and, attention and does. What do, you, what do you think, what's the headline out of this, out of this book? Uh, the, the, the headline is that we came much closer than any of us realized, including me, who was right there in the middle of it all, to losing our democracy. Mm -hmm. This was, a, a, this was a, an attack on our democracy, and it could happen again. Um, and so it's, it's, that, it's a betrayal. It was a betrayal of the very system that elected Donald Trump president, and he tried to take it down, and he came close to doing it. Well, on that upbeat note, sorry, uh, man. We just went to. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> no. with a smile and it was a womp womp. <laughs> but it is so good. Look, man, yeah. you are always welcome on the show, yeah. book or not. Yeah. You are always welcome, and it's good to have you in studio. It's great well, to man. be here. You know, it's my wife Maria's favorite show on ABC. Uh, Maybe it's because I'm not on very often. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's like, I don't know. I'm he beat us to it, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your wife thank you. Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And be sure, folks, you can pick up a copy of the book, Betrayal. It is out now. Uh, good to see you as always, brother. Right, thank you, John.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.